of any parts or replacements that they need to order for us. The align hone of the main bearing saddle in one of the blocks came first. The main caps were removed and a couple thousandths of an inch were ground off the bottoms of the seats of the caps. Then the caps are put back on the block and tightened and torqued to spec. After being cut, the opening is no longer circular. It's a slight oval. The size is checked with a dial bore gauge and the honing stones are inserted and expanded until the proper drag is felt. The honing drill is lined up with the stones and once the oil starts to flow through the tube above the block, the stones are passed in and out while the drill is running. As this happens, metal is being removed and the oval shape begins to return to a perfect circle. As the stones take off metal, the block and caps begin to heat up. The machinist checks the size with a gauge and then takes a break to let the block sit and cool so the metal will return to its true size. After a few minutes of cooling, the stones are run again and the progress is checked with a gauge. Then the block is lifted and turned around so that the hone can be finalized to the perfect size from the other side. This is the first process for the block because the next two things to be done depend on a perfectly straight line to the main bearing bore for proper mounting to the machine. For decking, the alignment dowels for the heads are removed and the block deck is leveled. When the deck is perfectly level and the machine is started, it runs by itself at a set pace and shaves off a few thousandths of an inch to make the deck perfectly flat so that the new head gaskets will have no problem sealing out water, air, or oil leaks. When one deck is done, the block is rotated and the machine is set up again. Both decks have to be cut or there's going to be a difference in the compression ratio from one side of the motor to the other, and the intake manifold won't fit properly. This cut only took off about five thousandths of an inch. The factory number stamping of the block ID was even still visible. Using the same mounting point through the main bearing bore, the block deck is leveled in the boring machine. The machine needs to be set in the approximate center line of the first cylinder bore. Then the machinist tells the machine that it's a V8 and presses go, and the machine will take care of the rest for the first half of the block. This particular machine will then center itself in the bore and then the cutting tool for the proper overbore size, which was already set up in the spindle, will go to work once it starts to spin. This machine knows how far to go down in the bore for each engine type that is programmed into it. When one bore is done, it will retract the spindle and automatically move to the next bore and center itself once again. It will go through and cut all of the bores to size for this first side of the block. The block will then be lifted out and flipped to the other side to get finished. A piston bore that is still the original diameter, as when it left the factory, is said to be standard size. The normal increments for pistons that are manufactured for oversized bores are 10, 20, 30, 40, and 60 thousandths of an inch. The boring machine will cut the cylinder wall to a few thousandths of an inch shy of whatever bore you will need and later, the honing machine will open it up to the exact center.